It's launch week and the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. SpaceX has completed all the necessary preparations to launch their Starship rocket. Meanwhile, Boeing is also set to launch its highly anticipated Starliner spacecraft this week. We're here to dive into all the exciting details of this monumental week. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX is gearing up for a crucial test flight of its Starship rocket. The Federal Aviation Administration recently granted SpaceX the necessary launch license for this mission, marking a significant step forward. This license comes after thorough reviews to ensure that SpaceX met all safety and environmental requirements. The launch is scheduled for tomorrow, and preparations are in full swing at SpaceX's facility in Boca Chica, Texas. This fourth flight test follows a previous attempt that ended in a dramatic explosion shortly after launch. The FAA's approval is a major milestone for SpaceX. It required SpaceX to make several modifications and improvements to the rocket's design and testing protocols. These included enhancements to the rocket's heat shield, improvements to the flight termination system, and rigorous testing of the Raptor engines that power the Starship. The approval process also involved detailed environmental assessments to address the potential impact on the surrounding area and wildlife. In addition to securing the launch license, SpaceX has been conducting numerous ground tests to ensure the readiness of the Starship for its flight. These tests include static fire tests of the Raptor engines and pressure tests of the rocket's fuel tanks. The goal is to verify that all systems are functioning correctly and can handle the stresses of launch and space travel. The upcoming test flight aims to achieve several key objectives. Firstly, it will attempt to reach orbit a critical milestone for demonstrating the rocket's capabilities. Secondly, it will test the rocket's re-entry and landing systems, which are designed to make Starship fully reusable. Successful re-entry and landing would significantly reduce the cost of space travel, making it more accessible for a wide range of missions. Moreover, the flight will carry out experiments and deploy small satellites, showcasing the rocket's versatility for different types of payloads. SpaceX plans to use the data from this flight to refine the Starship design and improve its performance for future missions. Now, shifting our focus to Boeing, the aerospace giant is also preparing for a significant milestone with its Starliner spacecraft. The Starliner is set to make its next launch attempt on a critical crewed mission. This mission, known as Crew Flight Test, will be Boeing's first crewed flight to the International Space Station. The launch is scheduled for early June, and the stakes are high as Boeing aims to prove the spacecraft's readiness for regular crewed missions. The Starliner program has faced numerous challenges and delays, including a failed uncrewed test flight in 2019 and issues with the spacecraft software and hardware. The upcoming mission will carry NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and Mike Finke to the ISS, where they will spend about a week before returning to Earth. Development of the Starliner began in 2010, with Boeing initially receiving billions of dollars in funding from NASA to develop the spacecraft for crew transport to and from the International Space Station. The development faced numerous setbacks and delays right from the beginning. Originally, Boeing aimed to complete the Starliner by 2017 as part of a contract with NASA. However, the first crewed mission was continuously delayed due to various technical issues, including problems with software development and testing, parachute system concerns, and other hardware malfunctions. For instance, the first uncrewed test flight in 2019 encountered serious issues, leading to an incomplete mission as software errors prevented the Starliner from docking with the International Space Station. Furthermore, Boeing faced significant financial impacts due to these delays, absorbing hundreds of millions in charges against earnings for the Starliner program. When you're alone in a competitive environment, it's easy to justify delays or setbacks by pointing to the difficulties of the task. But when another player does the same thing better, and in shorter time, it makes your excuses look weak. This is similar to what happened with SpaceX and Boeing in developing their spacecraft. Both companies began working on their crew capsules around the same time, aiming to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. SpaceX launched its Crew Dragon for the first time in March 2019 on a test flight without crew. 
and by May 2020, they successfully sent astronauts into orbit. This achievement made Crew Dragon one of the safest and most reliable spacecraft, and it quickly became a key player for NASA's missions. Boeing, on the other hand, is still trying to catch up to where SpaceX's Dragon is now. Musk highlighted this on Twitter, noting the difference in funding and completion time between the two companies. Although Boeing got $4.2 billion to develop an astronaut capsule and SpaceX only got $2.6 billion, SpaceX finished four years sooner. Note, the crew capsule design of Dragon 2 has almost nothing in common with Dragon 1. Too many non-technical managers at Boeing. This comment points to the challenges Boeing has faced in its development process. When we look back at the initial days of NASA's contract following the space shuttle's retirement, we can see why Musk's frustration might have some grounding. Back then, Boeing seemed like the obvious choice to many. With a long history of aerospace achievements, Boeing was favored by a majority of engineers and specialists involved in the selection process. They argued that Boeing should be awarded a multi-billion dollar contract to develop a crew capsule. Despite these preferences towards the end of the selection process, a few voices advocated for SpaceX. Eventually, NASA decided to split the contract. Boeing received $4.2 billion and SpaceX $2.6 billion. While this wasn't a total win for Boeing, which had hoped to secure the entire contract sum, they still received a significant portion of the funding. The results over the following years painted a different picture. SpaceX's Dragon first carried astronauts to the space station nearly four years ago and has since completed 13 public and private missions to orbit. Its success has secured it a total of 14 operational missions to the station for NASA, each earning significant fees. In contrast, Boeing's Starliner has struggled with delays and technical issues, leading to Boeing incurring $1.5 billion in charges related to these delays and overruns. If the contract had been given only to Boeing, we might have considered all the constant delays as normal, simply because we wouldn't have SpaceX's Dragon successes to compare against. This is why it's always beneficial to prevent monopolies, especially in critical industries like space travel. Having multiple options fosters competition, drives innovation, and often leads to better outcomes. It's not only Boeing and SpaceX that are providing spacecraft options. NASA also has another alternative, the Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser is a reusable spacecraft designed to transport cargo, and potentially crew, to the International Space Station. Unlike traditional capsules, the Dream Chaser is a space plane that can land on conventional runways, offering a unique approach to space missions. Its design focuses on safety and reusability, with the capability to be used multiple times, which is a key feature in reducing the cost of access to space. Lastly, it's important to remember that the recent Starliner delays also involve United Launch Alliance, as their rocket is the one tasked with launching the spacecraft. Some of these delays are directly related to the rocket itself, not just the Starliner. United Launch Alliance has also been facing its own set of challenges within the company. There's even speculation that the company is struggling financially and that Jeff Bezos might be interested in buying it. Only time will tell if these rumors hold any truth. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.